Cameron, uh, Iris down a little, please, for Paul. <sighs> okay. Hello. Okay, I'm, I'm ready apparently. Hello and welcome to the live stream of the Ashland High School Class of 2021 graduation. Uh, beautiful day here and hard to believe that they've made it through. And hold on a second, we're doing all of this interestingly with different technology. Um, I'm hoping we're still live. If not, they'll give me a call. <laughs> We are here with Jim Adams, the superintendent of the Ashland Public Schools. Jim, uh, tell me how you're feeling today. Uh, elated. It's, it, it's honestly, it's 17 months of, of hard work for this group especially, you know, and, and for them to be able to celebrate class week and do the things semi-normal, if you will, and then have a nice graduation outside today. Is, is, it's, I couldn't be happier for the kids. It's exciting. So it's a, a little bit different setup. This is the second year of outdoor graduation. Any thought on continuing that after this? Yeah, we've had that conversation. We're going to uh, certainly reevaluate it. Uh, I think depending upon what time of the morning, because normally we're at one in the afternoon, and as you know, that gym is sweltering. Yes. Uh, but here today, uh, we had a nice breeze now, but around one o'clock, it's going to be sweltering even outside, and the turf field gets really hot. So yeah. we'll wait and see. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, as we said, it's class of 2021. The audience is directly behind us. The students are sitting on chairs on the track. Unfortunately, they still have to be the three feet apart, so we don't have our usual risers up that sitting shoulder to shoulder. Uh, but we're going to be sharing this via live stream. We're going to get as many camera angles as possible so you can watch the person that you're looking for cross the stage. Uh, there, of course, is it starts with a procession by all the students. Then there's a few speeches. There is a, um, an, a, a some seniors performing, there will, yep. which I love that. That's the best. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And I love that it started in 2012. Yeah, is that <laughs> it started? That was the first year. Well, we'll and, take and that I, as, I was and the I, principal then. So you we were the principal. <laughs> you started. Well, I didn't. I had nothing to do with it. No, but but you and the students, yeah. Yeah. and of course yeah. I say that because my daughter participated in that. So. Um, but it's such a great tradition yeah. for them to be able to perform. The one thing we've talked a lot about when I became principal and is that this is their celebration, right? It's right. not about me. It's not about the school committee. It's not about the parents. It's about right. the students. Right. And the students actually design their graduation. So what you'll see today is hard work on the students' behalf of the senior class, uh, the officers, designing their own graduation, which is great. Well, and I, we, you know, as, as, as a select board member, we've, videotaped our our scholarship presentation i don't need to actually hand it to them and 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 during a ceremony okay you know the kids who get the scholarships that's great but really graduation day is about all the seniors yes, so 100 and and actually the class day ceremonies for the scholarships went really well in the in the auditorium the other day so there are certain things coming out of covid right that we're going to maybe look at and say hey we can do this better uh for in terms of the presentation and the ceremony itself so. Well, and I think that's one of the things that everyone's looking at, right, with COVID is, okay, it was a horrible thing. We all had to deal with a lot, but what can we take from it to improve and, and what do we want to keep from COVID? So, yeah, it's, a, it's a, exciting. Like I said, this is sort of uh, it's a nice culmination that this senior group, and it's unfortunate we couldn't do it last year with that senior group, but we're on the road, right, back right. to a little bit of normalcy and a little bit of, of tradition. Uh, and there are some traditions that we want to keep, and this is one where yeah. the families, I mean, it's, a, it's so exciting to have a crowd here, right? Right, yeah, yeah. last year we had, what, two of each, yeah. you know, yeah. a and couple from each, yep, right yep, yep. Yep. So this is great, um, I'm excited for the students and the families, so. Well, I don't know if we're still live, um, <laughs> so we're gonna talk a little bit more. We're having audience members still come in. We're still a half hour from graduation starting. We're gonna go back to some class day presentation and we'll be back a little bit closer to let you know when we're actually starting. You're hearing sound checks in back of us for the two students that are performing, the two seniors that are gonna be performing today. Uh, and we will um, step out of the camera and if we stay live, you'll just be seeing people come in. Jim, thanks for talking to us and congratulations on another year. Thank you so much and thanks for to WACA for doing this. This is awesome, thank Great. you. Thanks. Uh, we'll be back more, and you'll continue to see people walking in until this gets cut off. <laughs>
See how far I am away from it? They're like this. Okay. It goes away. You gotta eat the mic, like right on. Uh, the one with the camera, right? Is that her right there by the uh, A? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is 9 40. We are in the middle of the Ashland High School football field getting ready for the class of 2021 graduation. Uh, you're catching us via live stream from wherever you are. You might be here in Ashland or you might be across the country getting to watch this. Um, it's a little bit different. This is our second time doing it outside here at this high school. Last year, of course, because of COVID, it happened in August. We only had a limited number of audience that were able to attend. Our students were in one position. We've now, they've changed it up again. The students are sitting on the field and uh, on the track and the audience, unlimited, is here on the field. Um, I have a feeling that by the time we start at 10 o'clock, all these seats are going to be filled. Uh, part of today's celebration not only is graduation that we're going to be live streaming for you, but also the graduation parade, which is the seniors in cars getting to drive through Ashland. They hit every single school. Uh, so if you live on the parade route, you can check it out on Facebook or find out from a senior's parents. Go out, line the parade route yell and cheer and help celebrate the graduation for the class of 2021. Of course, if you're watching this not from Ashland, or even if you are from Ashland, 
WACA TV also has a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to and all the news and all the sports events that we show, you'd be able to see them there. And of course, a little shameless plug here for the show Around the Clock that I, Yolanda Greaves, am the host of. Uh, you can follow that on Facebook as well as on YouTube and you can see all the news and events that are going on here in Ashland that we pull together on the Around the Clock show. So we are counting down to graduation. About another 15 minutes, the live stream will, will, will continue the live stream, but we'll start the actual graduation ceremony. Uh, our principal, Kelly St. Cure, we're still hearing some sound checks going on for the two seniors that are talking. We just had a great interview with Jim Adams about how that tradition started, where <laughs> students participated in graduation by performing. Of course, we'll have the Star Spangled Banner. Um, so stay tuned, stay here. Uh, there'll be some more information coming through on the live stream, and then we will bring it all to you live at 10 a.m. Uh, so I'm gonna stand here talking until I get the word from our producers that they've shifted a camera. Uh, so as you can see, there's still audience coming in around me, and uh, it's going to be a hot one, so if you're not here yet and you're watching, make sure you bring your water, maybe an umbrella. Uh, we want everyone We're to stay hydrated, no emergencies on the field We're not um, as no, we no, do no. this celebration. I'm hearing some cheering. I'm expecting to see the procession of the students soon coming into the seats here. And we are going to head to one of our other cameras. We'll be back when we start the live stream celebration at 10 a.m. We haven't started yet, and Allison needs to put the, um, the graphic up. He hasn't done that. He hasn't done that. He hasn't done that. He All right, I'll, I'll, you know what? Thanks for letting me know. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you a call. But I think that's the reason. I think, I think that's because he just hasn't put a graphic up yet. But I'll, I'll let her know. I'll let her know that it's out in the black. I'll let her know.
an amazing school nonetheless. She does. She wouldn't be able to There you go. As she should, as she should. I'm proud of her for that. She must have sat up in a dancing room. That's what I said. We were sitting there.
Paul? Am I so, okay. Hello, welcome back to the live stream for the graduation celebration for the Ashland High School class of 2021. We have been told this to be There's a little bit of a shade, and as we see the students come in, I'm going to keep up. They are there and lined up um, and ready to come in. Working with new technology, the wearing an ear. Okay, so I uh, hear the. Hey, you're welcome. Oh. It is my pleasure to present the 148th graduating class of Ashland High School, the class of 2021.
please remain standing. Gentlemen, remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem. You may be seated. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this very warm morning. I'm going to start by saying if there is anyone that's in need of any assistance during the ceremony, Ashland Fire is located down the end here, so please feel free to reach out. Uh, so good morning again and welcome. My name is Kelly St. Kerr. I'm a proud principal of Ashland High School. Welcome to our graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. It is wonderful to stand here with you for what feels like a normal graduation. This year has been anything but normal. While we are still holding a modified shortened graduation ceremony, it's thrilling to be here in the sunshine with our masks off if we choose as a united community. We are here because of all of you. We may have had different thoughts and opinions of the past school year and how it's approached, but all in all, we work together to have a successful year. Thank you to all the parents and family members of the graduates that are with us today. We appreciate the support and trust you have put in Ashland Public Schools over the years, and especially this year. Thank you to the first responders with us today. You have supported us through this pandemic and helped to make this event and others like it that we have had this spring a success and safe for all. Thank you to our, community, our school committee members, superintendent and other central office administration, and especially the faculty and staff of Ashland Public Schools. You were all first year teachers this year, and you did an amazing job. Your, Your willingness to put countless hours into preparing these students for today has helped make the class of 2021 ready to go out into this quickly changing world. Today's ceremony marks the official end of your career as students of Ashland Public Schools. Ashland is a place that will always be your home. As I listen to the lyrics of the song we will hear shortly and read the speeches you're about to hear from your peers, I thought, your roots here are strong. This year, whether you know it or not, has made you stronger and those roots even deeper. The challenges you faced were hard, but your generation has taken steps to embrace what is hard and not hide from it. Don't let the negative aspects of this year define you. Keep looking for the positives, the chances to grow and learn. No matter how far you travel, I hope you will always consider Ashland High School your home. This is a year that all of you will tell your children and grandchildren about someday. I hope your stories are about resilience and the strength that you gained from perhaps the hardest year of your life. Our program today is focused on students. You are what today is all about. So at this time, I invite your class president, Devin Ewells, to the podium. Here you go, Devin. Whew. 
Thank you, Ms. Anker. I am honored to be the class of 20. I have to start with something brutally honest. When I decided on whether to run for president last year, the one thing that made me hesitate, the one thing, was having, come, was having to come and deliver this speech. I mean, there are a lot of people here. But there is good news. This is my speech, and I can talk about anything I want. Right, Ms. Anker? Anything. So I'm not going to get in front of you guys today and talk about new college experiences and new challenges and yada, yada, yada. Instead, let's talk about something practical. I want to talk to you about utilizing the free food, the free rent, the free laundry service available here in good old Ashland. That's right, parents. I'm talking about boomeranging back. I'm talking about coming right back home, graduates. But not just because of all the free stuff, but because this is our home. A couple of years ago, today, a couple of years ago I took my surroundings for granted. I took this home for granted. As many, of, as many of you may know, I attended Ashland High School for my freshman year and left for my sophomore year because I thought the world had more to offer than this little town. And to be honest, I thought that was the life that I was missing out on. But despite making new friends and having plenty of new experiences, it just couldn't replace the years and years of all the friendships that I've made here. It just didn't feel like home. This experience helped me remind me of all the great memories I made in Ashland. k and in eighth grade, hitting the Soldier Boy and Superman, or the long bus ride to DC, or even the Powder Puff game. My girl Maddie English was running over everyone. <laughs> Now those were some good times. Those memories made me realize that your home was much more than your house and family, but it was also your community. So I returned to Ashland. And despite my absence, you all welcomed me back, just like Homewood, as if I had never left. You should come back to Ashland. Again, not just for the free snacks and laundry service, but for the person to the right and to the left of you for the person one row over that you may have known since kindergarten, for the people on this stage that have cared for us our whole lives. You should come back because this is your home. This past year's pandemic has only reinforced how crucial our community is and how badly we miss it when it's taken from us. Our journey may take us to foreign lands for others across the country. For some, it might be right down the road but it is going to take many, many years for somewhere else can truly be called home. So one day when I meet you all again, we all will have some awesome stories to talk about and hopefully the opportunity to make new ones. As a matter of fact, we get to share another moment together right now as we walk across this stage. As you know, COVID denied the seniors this stage last year. So cherish all the wonderful moments today and hold them with you forever and remnants with us when you return home. Lastly, I would personally like to thank my senior advisor, Ms. Dickin, for all the hard work she has put in throughout this year, and especially during senior week. Because if she didn't help all the officers and I out, none of these festivities would have been possible. I also would like to thank all the friends, family, teachers, and admin that have come today to celebrate with us. But now, here we are, officially done with high school. Congratulations, graduates. We've made it. Thank you. Sophia, can you please rise? <laughs> Fun, bubbly, enthusiastic, and wildly intelligent 
are just some of the words that describe Sophia Shepard. She is also fiercely competitive, hardworking, and driven as only high achieving sport, sport, four sport athletes can be. She excels in all of her courses, not only because she is extremely bright, but because Sophia is so curious and interested in learning about everything. If you ask her today what she's interested in, she may say psychology, tomorrow it may be statistics, and next, journalism, because she is fascinated by so many topics. Sophia is a leader at Ashland High School and has received academic awards for excellence in mathematics, French, and history, just to name a few. She also received the Superintendent Certificate of Academic Excellence and was recognized for academic distinction with the Bryant University Book Award. Sophia will be attending UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles, where she plans to study everything and will no doubt bring her sense of joy with her. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Sophia Shepard as the 2021 Class Salutatorian. Thank you, Ms. Anchor. And good morning to the class of 2021 and all of the friends, family, teachers, and administrators who are here to celebrate with us on this special day. Although it's a tad warmer and it's a tad sweatier than I think we all would have liked, I thank you all for being here. Upon finding out I needed to give a speech at graduation, I had approximately two thoughts running through my mind. The first being, yay, I did it, as speaking on this day has been a dream of mine for as long as I can remember. And the second hit me a few moments later when I realized I was giving a speech to about a thousand people in three days and had no idea what to talk about. So, as any confused speech giver would do, I ran to YouTube and tried to gather inspiration. A common theme emerged of cheesy quotes and a positivity defeats all mindset. As many of you may know, I am a sucker for a cheesy optimistic quote that I can post on my Instagram story. So you would think my speech would follow just that same pattern. But I'm here today to tell a different side of my same story. These past few months for me have been seemingly perfect. I got into my dream college, which I'm beyond grateful to be attending in the fall. I've been doing pretty well in school. I picked up lacrosse again. I spent time with my friends and family, turned 18 and became an adult. I actually had a prom. Thank you, Ms. Dickin, for making that happen. <laughs> and I was even given this little sash. But I think there's a little something different than just all those great things that happened. As I stand before you today, smiling and celebrating, I will also say these past few months have been some of the hardest times of my life. I was also rejected from 10 schools, struggled to find the motivation to get out of bed and complete even simple assignments, thought about quitting, my, about quitting lacrosse, isolated myself from those that I loved, am scared that I wasted my childhood stressing over little things, cried for two hours on the day of prom because I hated every part of myself and couldn't look at in the mirror. And honestly, I really don't even know how to pronounce this word. <laughs> for the past few months, I felt stuck, overwhelmed, depressed, and isolated when this was supposed to be the best time in my life. Now I'm telling you all of this today, not to dampen this beautiful day, but rather to deepen its meaning. I thought that reaching this point in my life would solve all of my problems, thinking that once I graduate, I would finally be happy. And as much as I believe that setting goals and working hard to achieve them is important, I've begun to realize that no external factor, like getting into your dream school, can generate lasting happiness. Instead, you must find the joy in the little moments of daily life for your overall achievements to mean anything at all. So to my fellow graduates, as we go off into the world, I have no doubt that our class will find success in whatever we do and that we will make a positive impact on the world. But more importantly than finally getting that Lamborghini you've always wanted or landing your dream job, I truly hope each and every one of you finds true, internal, and lasting happiness that sticks with you on your journey throughout life. You deserve it. And if you are waiting for me to give a cheesy quote, here you go. 
<laughs> don't wait for the storm to pass, go dance in the rain. And I guess that would have been a little more fitting if it wasn't nine degrees and sunny, but you get the idea. Thank you. Each year at graduation, we celebrate the musical talent of our graduates with performances from some of our students. This morning, we welcome Emma Paul, accompanied by Nathan Noel and piano, singing Roots. Get a ticket for those tracks. Don't see a word and don't turn back. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We can get lost between the rails. We've never been afraid to fail. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. If you dig up your roots, then I'll dig up my roots. We can take them with us. we are, it's in the beat of our hearts, and I know we're ready to dive into the unknown, cause I'm caught in the middle. I'd rather break out on my own than be caught in the middle, sight set to the sky, sick of standing by. Let's get a ticket for those tracks. Don't say a word and don't turn back. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We can get lost between the rails. We've never been afraid to fail. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. If you dig up your roots, then I'll dig up my roots. We can take them with us wherever we go. Know that we are it's in the beat of our hearts, and I know we're ready to dive into the unknown. Cause I'm caught in the middle. We're carrying our roots in everything we do. You know there's nothing left here for us. We've got everything we need. It takes a leap to plant the seed. You know there's nothing left here for us. If you dig up your roots, then I'll dig up my roots. We can take them with us wherever we go. And all that we are is the beat of our hearts. I know we're ready, yes I know we're ready, if you dig up your roots, then I'll dig up my roots, if we can take them with us, wherever we go, and all that we are, is in the beat of our hearts, and I know we're ready, to dive into the unknown, cause I'm caught in the middle. on my own than 
Helen, could you please stand? No year has tested students as this year has. We all needed to learn how to be flexible, rise to challenges, and to adapt to the other ever-changing situations our environment presented. Perhaps some of us did it well, but Helen continued to thrive. Helen has that intrinsic motivation that is led by curiosity for knowledge, and though she gets the grade, that's not what drives her. Helen is what teachers call a lifelong learner, one who will always ask questions, not just look for answers. Helen is a focused academic student who thrives when faced with academic challenges. She has been recognized for her excellence as a National Merit Commended Student. Dartmouth Alumni Club Book Award, Ashland Lions Club Speech Contest Club winner two years in a row, National Honor Society member and treasurer this year, numerous Ashland High School Academic Awards, and selected for the Congress of Future Medical Leaders Award of Excellence. Helen will take her generous spirit to the Stevens Institute of Technology where she plans to study chemical biology and to one, one day be a doctor to make positive change in the world. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Helen Verges as the 2021 class valedictorian. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. I can bet you've heard these exact words while shoving through old jackets and coats in the coat closet, adrenaline rushing through you as you try to be as quiet as possible. You crouch down, backing up until you come in contact with the wall, trying to win this high stakes game of hide and seek. Despite being a children's game, hide and seek teaches us a valuable lesson. Time doesn't stop for anyone or anything. Whether you're ready or not, the seeker is coming. It doesn't matter if you found the best hiding spot or you're still running around panicking trying to find a spot. As soon as the seeker finishes counting, the game has begun. In a seemingly stressful parallel, the same is true for life. Whether we're ready or not, time keeps ticking. Life keeps throwing things our way. Time didn't stop these past four years while we were struggling to navigate our way through our teenage lives while balancing heavy course loads and finding ourselves. Time didn't stop last March when a horrible pandemic broke out, shutting down everything, completely redefining the word normal. Time didn't stop when we begged and pleaded for five more minutes to spend with our past loved ones. For me, time didn't stop when my older sister Dawn moved out and went to college, leaving me to fight my own battles. Time didn't stop when my baby sister Chris, <laughs> don't look at me Chris, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Time didn't stop when my baby sister Kristen grew up and became not so much of a baby anymore. Time didn't even stop when my mommy was battling cancer, fighting with everything she had, nearly losing her life. But take a look around. We are all here, we all did it. We made it through high school and everything the past four years have thrown at us. We needed to learn to band together and to lean on each other because we're all in it together. No difference in race, gender, sexual orientation, 
Social or economic status can change the fact that we are all human beings trying to find our ways through a tough life. We've made it this far because of the people around us. They've taught us that rather than hiding from our problems, we should seek solutions, ultimately finding success and happiness. We all owe a huge thank you to the amazing teachers and administration members that have shaped us into the young men and women we are today, full of potential and capability. Personally, I would like to say thank you to my friends for an amazing four years filled with concussions, <laughs> English projects, cyclohexane, French food parties, plastic snakes, roller coasters, and much, much more. Thank you to my family for being my biggest supporters. To my sisters for listening to all my stories and giving me advice. Thank you, Mommy, for staying strong, and Daddy for showing me that I can truly achieve anything if I work hard. In the words of corporate coach Rashid Angulora, success is something you spend your whole lifetime looking for, and happiness is something you spent your whole life overlooking. So fellow classmates, as we move forward into a new era of our lives, I hope that all of you can successfully deal with the hardships that come your way and seek success, whatever that may mean to you, without sacrificing your happiness. Though some of us may cross paths in the near future, and some of us never again, I wish you all the very, very best, because class of 2021, ready or not, here we go. <laughs> She wasn't kidding. Now's the time we've all been waiting for, the presentation of diplomas. I'm going to invite Ms. Sue Reef up. She will be reading our names today. After each graduate's name is read, the class officers will be reading a blurb of thanks and where the students are going, so we do ask that you hold your applause until that has been read. Helen Sarah Verghese. Helen would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for shaping her into the person she is today. She will be studying chemical bio biology at Stevens Institute of Technology in Hoboken, New Jersey in the fall. Sophia Lucy Shepard. Sophia will be attending the University of California, Los Angeles in the fall as an under, undeclared student. She would like to thank her family, friends, coaches, teammates, and all her amazing teachers for their unconditional support. Woo! Devin Jacob Yules. I will be attending the University of Tampa majoring in <laughs> entrepreneurship. I'd like to thank my parents and all my teachers that helped me along the way. Rebecca Joy De Benedictus. Rebecca will be going to Vanderbilt University to major in human and organizational development. She would like to thank her family and teachers for all their support and all of her friends for all the amazing memories. Yeah, Becky! Woo! Elaine Marie Jones. Elaine will be studying biochemistry on a pre-med track at the University of California, Santa Barbara. She would like to thank her family, teachers, and especially her older brother, Donnie. Mason Paul Dubanowitz. Mason will be attending Northeastern University to major in finance. He'd like to thank his mom, dad, and siblings for their support throughout the years. Josephine Eliza Kaufman. Josie is going to the University of Connecticut and to study economics and statistics. She'd like to say thank you to her family, teachers, and friends for their love and support in helping her get to where she is today. Madison Jean English. Maddie will be attending Endicott College in the fall where she will be majoring in nursing while also playing on the soccer team. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their endless support over the years. Alex Gu. Alex will be swimming and studying engineering at Tufts and wants to thank his family and friends for being there for everything. 
Riley Carlene Travis. Riley will be attending Pepperdine University in the fall as a psychology major on track to be a speech and language pathologist. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for supporting her over the years. Gianna Danielle Abatini. Gianna will be attending Penn State next year and majoring in information science and technology. She would like to thank her family and friends for their love and support. Amanda Chavez Acaroni. Amanda would like to thank her mom and her dad and her brother. Arthur Emmanuel Palmera do Nascimento Nunez Almeida. Arthur will be going to Mass Bay STEM program and he wants to thank Miss Walton for being an amazing teacher. Andy Alonzo. Andy is going to Bridgewater State for business. Lauren Adessa Alphonse. Lauren will be going to Worcester State University as undecided. Ayush Anand. Ayush would like to thank um, his friends and family. Maggie Christine Apostoli. Uh, Maggie would like to thank her friends and family. Emma Rose Arsenal. Emma will be attending Plymouth State University and will be majoring in Allied Health while playing on the soccer team. Gary Arvin. Gary will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, majoring in business and computer science. She thanks her family, friends, and teachers for their inspiration and support. Jake Egidio Esenko. Jake is attending UMass Boston for criminal justice and would like to thank his family, especially his mom, dad, and Bo. Jivan Bagzarian. Jivan is majoring in computer networking at Wentworth Institute of Technology. He would like to thank his friends and family. Sienna Mulan Baracci. Sienna will be attending Loyola University Chicago in the fall as an undecided student. She would like to thank her family, friends, and most importantly, her teachers for helping her become the person she is today. Liad Barash. Liad will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder to study aerospace engineering. He would like to thank his family and friends, especially those watching in Israel. <laughs> Elena Ann Badaglino. Elena is going to the University of Connecticut to study biology. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for helping her accomplish her goals and for the most memorable four years. Aiden Lawrence Bayless. Aiden will be studying biochemistry at UMass Boston. He would like to thank his family and friends. <laughs> Jeffrey Walter Berthium. Jeff will be attending the University of Arizona and would like to thank his family and friends for their support. <laughs> Nina Saad Bashara. Mina will be studying biology at UMass Boston. He would like to thank God, family, and all faculty members. Gaurav Bhatnagar. Gaurav will be attending the University of Massachusetts and majoring in computer science. He would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for helping him through this journey. Annalyn Rose Blanchard. Annalyn is going to Northeastern University with a combined major in cybersecurity and criminal justice. She thanks all of her friends, teachers, and family for helping her get to where she is. <laughs> Caitlin Rose Bletcher. Caitlin will be attending the University of Rhode Island and will be studying exercise science. She would like to thank her family for all their support and encouragement, and especially her mom and dad for those 7 a.m. coffee runs. Megan Rory Bolton. Megan is going to the University of Vermont to study animal science. 
Hadley Elizabeth Boomer. Hadley will be attending the University of Rhode Island in the fall. She would like to thank her friends and family. <laughs> Ryan Juan Q. Boyles. Ryan is going to Casanova College for photography. He would like to thank his parents and teachers. Ryan wishes the best for each and every senior that is graduating. <laughs> Anders Sundin Brandt. Anders would like to say thank you to Mr. McKeon and his parents for their support and encouragement. Nora May Burnham. Nora will be attending Worcester State University next year and would like to thank her friends and family for their support. Robert William Callahan, Jr. Robbie is attending Worcester State and studying business. Jalen Rose Carlin. Jalen will be attending Westfield State for early childhood education. <laughs> Hector Xavier Carasquillo. Hector would like to thank his friends and family. <laughs> Taryn Elizabeth Cavallo. Taryn is going to Spa Tech for aesthetics and would like to thank her family and friends for their endless support. Vineeth Chandrapu. Vineeth is going to URI in Kingston to study pharmacy. He would like to thank everyone that helped and supported him along the way. Sarah Elizabeth Chappelle. Sarah Chappelle will be attending UMass Amherst in the Honors College to study chemistry, astronomy, and art. She would like to thank her parents for their endless love and support, as well as her friends for always being there for her. <laughs> Nicholas John Sabati. Nick will be attending Florida Gulf Coast University and would like to thank his friends and family for their support throughout the years. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rebecca Michelle Cohen. Rebecca would like to thank her friends and family. <laughs> Megan Nicole Colari. Megan will be going to Westfield State University. She would like to thank her mom and especially her dad for all his help with her homework. <laughs> Adam Lance Cooper. Adam is attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst and would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Oswald Corley. Oswald would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Nicholas Anthony Krupe. Nick would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Sarah Cristina Rodriguez de Silva. Sarah is going to the University of Tampa to study nursing. She would like to thank your family, friends, and teachers for all the support and the constant laughter. Andrea Lynn Davidson. Andrea will be attending James Madison University to study nursing. She wants to thank her family for their constant support. Erica Lynn Desiada. Erica will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst, majoring in sociology. She would like to thank her dad for his constant love and support and her mom for watching over her. Jeffrey Anthony Dalloway Jr. Jeff is going to Bridgewater State to study physical education. He wants to thank his parents, family, Coach McKay, Messer Zakili, Mr. McKeon, Miss LaChapelle, and Miss McMahon, and he will remember his last day at AHS the most. <laughs> Emily Rose Dollinger. Emma wants to thank her friends for always giving her something in the future to look forward to. Shay. Patrick Donovan. Shay would like to thank his family, friends, and Miss Fitzy for their unconditional support. <laughs> Ian Henry Doucet. Ian will be attending UVM where he will major in biology. He appreciates his teachers, friends, and family for their unwavering support. Gianna Teresa Dowd. 
Gianna is planning on pursuing further education in psychology. Matthew Damien Ducharme. Matthew will be attending Clarkson University majoring in civil engineering. We'd like to thank his family and friends for always supporting him. <laughs> Nirmeen Sam Eldam. Nirmeen is attending Framingham State University studying biology on a pre-med track. She would like to thank her family for helping her get where she is today. <laughs> Caroline Mackenzie Ellis. Caroline will be attending Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, California. She'll be majoring in computer science on a pre-law track. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for all their love and support. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Essenther. Mary will be attending UMass next fall with a major in computer engineering. She would like to thank her friends, family, and Khan Academy for helping her throughout the years. <laughs> Luana Carolis Estevez. Luana is going to school to study ultrasound and cosmetology. <laughs> Christopher Josiah Fanef. Chris would like to thank his family and friends. Alyssa Marie Friorenzi. Alyssa would like to thank her family and friends. <laughs> Nicholas Anthony Fish. Nick will be continuing his academic and athletic career at Bridgeton Academy for a postgraduate year. He's thankful for his coaches, friends, and family, especially his parents, for their support. <laughs> Sarah Miranda Fisher. Sarah Fisher will be attending Sal Virginia University to study biology. Sarah would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for being so supportive throughout her high school journey. Molly Murphy Fleming. Molly will be attending the University of Massachusetts Amherst and studying business in the Eisenberg program. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for her, su for her success throughout her high school career. Yeah, Molly! <laughs> Emily May Flynn. Emily is going to the University of Connecticut to study physiology and neuro neurobiology. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for helping her succeed throughout her high school career. Yeah. Madigan Nolan Flynn. Madigan is going to the University of New Hampshire to study occupational therapy. She would like to thank her family and friends for their constant love and support. Woo! Sarah Abigail Friedman. Sarah will be studying biology at Elon University. She would like to thank all of her friends, family, and teachers who have made her the person that she is today. <laughs> Griffin William Frink. Griffin will be attending the University of Tennessee to study business. He wants to thank his parents, grandparents, and friends. <laughs> Travis Flynn Fuelhart. Travis is going to, the, to Miami University of Ohio to study urban and regional planning. Isabella Grace Chun Gerber. Izzy plans on majoring in hospitality and tourism in college. She'd like to thank her friends, family, and photo math. Katarina Gertji. Katarina will be heading to Bennington College in Vermont. They would like to thank their friends, their family, for, for supporting them. <laughs> Gwendolyn Laura Yotenja Goso. Gwen would like to th thank her family and friends for supporting her over the years. Even Goma Kidamene. He would like to thank his family and friends for supporting him throughout the years. Erin Colleen Gore. Erin will be attending UMass Amherst in the fall, studying business. She is very thankful for her family, friends, and teachers who helped her throughout the years. <laughs> Samuel William Gorman. Sam will be going to UMass Boston for computer science. He'd like to thank his family, friends, and teachers and coaches. Yes, Sam. <laughs> Spencer Thomas Gravel. Spencer is going to Endicott College to study exercise science. He'd like to thank his family and your... Emma Flynn Grimes. Emma will be attending Sacred Heart University to study biology on the pre-veterinary track and ride on the equestrian team. She would like to thank her family, friends, for the endless support over the years. Woo! Jonathan Derek 
Hampson. Johnny is going to UMass Lowell to study business. He would like to thank his family and friends. <laughs> Sean Tyler Harding. Sean would like to thank his family and friends for the support over the years. Aiden James Hatstat. Uh, Aiden would like to thank his friends and family for all the help over the years. Luis Pedro Hernandez Cruz. Luis would like to thank his friends, family, and teachers for all the help throughout the years. Saray Elise Hernandez. Saray is going to UMass Dartmouth and majoring in, in nursing. She wants to thank her parents and her sisters for always being there for her. She will remember all the amazing memories she made with her friends. Benjamin Robert Herrera. Benny will be attending Sacred Heart University where he will be wrestling and majoring in business. He wants to thank his family and coaches for supporting him along the way. Paige Jacqueline Hess. Paige will be attending Emanuel College, majoring in accounting and criminology, hoping for a forensic, hoping to be a forensic accountant. Abigail Nicole Hershorn. Abby is going to the University of Maine for animal and veterinary veterinary sciences. She would like to thank her parents, uh, who got to where she is today. Tyler Scott Hershorn. Tyler will also be attending the University of Maine for computer science. He would like to thank his family and friends for always being there for him. Stephen Michael Hyland. Stephen will be attending Framingham State University and will be majoring in environmental studies and sustainability. He would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers. Raina Jacob. Raina will be attending Worcester Polytech Institute to study biomedical engineering on the pre-med track. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their endless support and guidance. Karen Jacob. Karen is going to Assumption University to study biology. She would like to thank her sister, family, and most importantly, her parents for pushing her to be the best person she can be. She will always remember the memories she made with her friends. Aiden Jamshid Javidpour. Aiden will be attending the University of Massachusetts Lowell, majoring in computer science. He would like to thank his teachers and will always remember the kindness they showed him. Dawson Cyrus Jebeshaker. Dawson is attending New York State University of Morrisville for automotive technology. He would like to thank friends, family, teachers, and God for their love and blessings. Johanny Renee Jun. Johanny is going to study nursing at Boston College on a full tuition merit scholarship as part of their Gabelli Presidential Scholars Program. She thanks her family, friends, and her teachers for their endless support and for being her greatest inspiration. John Baptiste Jimenez. John will be attending Mass Bay and would like to thank Alex Gu for his hard work and dedication. Yana Eleni Carpusis. Yana is going to Endicott College to study criminal justice. She wants to thank her mom and her sister for pushing her to do her best, her grandparents for their constant support, and her dad for inspiring her to go into law enforcement. Samira Kerkosh. Samira is going into the honors program at Suffolk University to study English on a pre-law track. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for all of their support. <laughs> Jacob Albert Clay. Jacob is attending the University of Vermont for environmental engineering. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support along the way. Hey, Jacob. Up, Madeline Jane Klepper. Maddie is attending the University of Pittsburgh for nursing. She would like to thank her family, friends, teachers, and dog for support along the way. Brandon William Kong. 
Brandon is going to the University of Rhode Island to major in theater arts. He is grateful for his mom, dad, brother, and friends for always putting him first and helping him get to where he is today. Christopher Alexander Cordelitis. Christopher would like to thank his friends and family for their support. Tejas Krishnamurthy. Tejas is going to the University of South Carolina to study finance. He would like to thank his friends and family. Brooke Alexandra Kulaga. Brooke is going to Colby College. She would like to thank her family and friends for pushing her to be her best. Michael Dylan Lang. Mike wants to thank his mom, dad, sister Emily, and dog Ellie for all their love and support. He'd like to say thank you to his football coaches for their motivation and guidance these last four years and for influencing his life for the better. Evan James Ledichevsky. Evan is going to Bryant University to study finance and business management. He would like to thank his mom, dad, brother, and sister for their guidance and support. He feels blessed to be part of such an incredible family. Nate Alexander Levine. Nate is going to Worcester Polytechnic Institute to study mechanical engineering. He would like to thank his friends and family for all their support. Jack Griffin Lima. Jack would like to thank his friends and family for all their support. Emily Elizabeth Lombardo. Emily would, will be attending Bridgewater State University with an undeclared major. She would like to thank her friends, family, teachers, and Charlie for all their support they gave throughout her journey. Matthew Christopher Long. Matt is going to Colby College to pursue academic and track and field careers. He would like to thank his family. Alberto Luis Lopez. Eddie is thankful for everyone. Peter Dmitrievich Lukashev. Peter would like to thank his friends and family for their support. Benjamin Sheridan Limburner Jensen. Ben is going to Merrimack College to play soccer and wants to thank his family, teammates, and friends for always supporting him. Shane Patrick McDonald. Shane is going to Merrimack and would like to thank his friends and family. Julia Lynn Mace. Julia is going to Assumption University majoring in health sciences with a pre-clinical track. She would like to thank her parents and her brother and sister for all their support. Brendan James Madison. Brendan would like to thank his friends and family. Uh -oh. Shafiq Magala. Shafiq would like to thank Ashland High School staff as well as his family, especially his aunt, for all of their support throughout the years. Braden James Millette. Braden is attending the Citadel and would like to thank his friends and family for all their support. Claire Elise Marcy. Claire will be attending the University of Delaware majoring in business. She would like to thank her family and friends for all their support along the way. Lauren Sophia Marcy. Lauren will be attending the University of Delaware in the fall and is majoring in biology. She would like to thank her parents for providing her with endless love and opportunities. No, no. Daniel Patrick Marshall. Daniel will be going to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in the fall to study chemical engineering. He would like to thank his family for all their support along the way. Jade Giselle Martinez. Jade would like to thank her family and friends for all their support. <laughs> Carla Nicole Martinez. Carla would like to thank her family and friends for all their support along the way. Kate Ashley McCoin. 
Kate will spend the next four years attending Worcester State. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for helping her get to where she is today. Max Robert McGreal. Max would like to thank his mom and dad. Joshua Arpithredi Makala. Josh is going to the University of Massachusetts Amherst to study computer engineering. He would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Gabrielli Alves Carnero Mentros. She would like to thank her family and friends for all their support along the way. Caitlin Valeria Merson. Caitlin is going to Assumption University to study secondary education. She would like to thank her friends, family, and of course her teacher squad for all their support. Matthew Christopher Milko. For the next four years, Matt will be attending Sacred Heart University. He wants to thank all of his teachers, coaches, and friends who have been with him over the last four years, and especially his parents. He is looking forward to this next journey in his life, and he can't wait for the memories to come. Marcus Capucci Millard. Marcus will be attending Norwich University, majoring in construction management and hoping to make a lot of money. <laughs> Joshua Daniel Mitchell. Joshua will be attending Wentworth to become a mad scientist. <laughs> Ruby Isabella Montoya. Ruby will be studying bakery and pastry arts at Johnson and Wales University and wishes to thank her friends and family for all their love and support. Micah Keen Moore. Micah would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Mel Miranda Moraes. Mel would like to thank her sister for all her support. Elena Marjorie Morgan. Elena will be attending Maris College and she would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for their support throughout the years. <laughs> Nicole Ann Moriarty. Nicole is attending Endicott College for nursing. She would like to thank her family and friends for the support over the past four years. Elizabeth Marie Mumford. Elizabeth will be going to Bridgewater State University to study elementary education and special education. She would like to thank her friends and family for their support. Patrice Jada Musoki. Patrice will be attending Temple University to study biochemistry. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers. Arjun Preethi Sriraj Nair. Arjun is going to the University of Vermont to study computer science. He would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Paige Hilton Nanatovich. Paige will be attending UMass Amherst at Eisenberg School of Management for Accounting. She would like to thank her friends and family for supporting her throughout the years. <laughs> Vitor Menezes Carvalho Nascimento. Vitor is going to Fitchburg State University to study nursing. He would like to thank his friends and family for their love and support. Alexis Demetra Nash. Alexis is attending the University of Rhode Island. She would like to thank her family for supporting her throughout high school. Elena Nebrutspekova. Elena wants to thank her teachers for supporting her over the years. Matthew Joseph Neal. Matt is attending Sal Regina University on the baseball team, majoring in business administration. He would like to thank his family, friends, Ollie and Vivi. Hey, Shelly Susanna Nierman. Shelly will, will be attending Boston University in the fall as a computer science major. She would like to thank her family and Miss Shields for supporting her every step of the way. Nathan Raymond Noel. Nathan will be attending Framingham State University. He wants to thank his family and friends who helped him get to this moment. Kelsey Reagan O'Connell. Kelsey would like to thank her family and friends for all their support. K 
Kirsten Nicole Oglesby. Kirsten is going to Endicott College for Healthcare Management and would like to thank her family and friends for everything the last four years. Sophia Pinto Oliveira. Sophia will be going to UMass Boston to study psychology. She would like to thank her family and friends for their support. Samuel Joseph Fernandez Oriel. Sam will be going to Mass Bay and majoring in computer, computer science. Elisa Nicole Ortiz. Elisa will be going to Mass Bay for nursing. She's excited for the future. She'll always remember the friendship she made in high school and especially playing volleyball. Sebastian Ortiz. Sebastian would like to give a shout out to his mom and family. He wouldn't be able to do it without you. <laughs> Emily Silva Pacheco. Emily will be going to Framingham State University for business administration. She would like to thank her parents and sisters. Amelia Popic. Amelia would like to thank her family and friends for the support. Narayan Patel. Narayan will be attending Virginia Commonwealth University to study dentistry. He thanks his family and friends for all their support. Woo! Emma Isabella Paul. Emma will be attending Berkeley College of Music to study vocal performance and musical theater. She would like to thank family, friends for all their support. Woo! Nolan William Perry. Nolan would like to thank his family and friends for the support. Zach Burgess Peterson. Zach will be attending Clark University and would like to thank his friends, family, and teachers that have helped him all the way. Christopher Austin Phillips Jr. Chris would like to thank his family and friends for supporting him. Pedro Enrique Rocha Panero. Pedro would like to thank his friends and family for helping him through high school. <laughs> Haley Ray Petard. Haley will be attending Mass Bay in the fall to major in psychology and criminal justice. Victor Alexandrovich Polikarpov. Victor is going to UMass Boston for computer engineering. He would like to thank his friends and family for their support. Lauren Elizabeth Politica. Lauren is going to Pennsylvania State University and is majoring in biobehavioral health. She would like to thank her family, teachers, and friends for all the support and fun memories. Woo! Kimberly Charlotte Poth. Kimberly will be attending Framingham State University in the fall for elementary education. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for their support and encouragement through the years. Olivia Page Putnam. Olivia will be going to Framingham State and would like to thank her grandfather, Joseph L. Bagley. Lior Rachmani. Lior would like to thank her friends and family for helping her through high school. Rahul Raja. Rahul is going to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign to study computer engineering. He thanks his family, friends, and teachers for their support. Woo! Quentrix Ramos Rants. Quentrix would like to thank his family and friends for their help in high school. Maggie Catherine Reardon. Maggie is going to Bridgewater State University. She would like to thank her family for their support. Andrew Joseph Rice. Andrew will be joining the military. We'd like to thank him for his service. <laughs> Penelope Ann Romer. She's going to the University of URI and studying sustainable agriculture. She would like to thank her family and friends for all the support. 
Brian Andrew Rose. Brian will be attending Coastal Carolina and studying business. Hey, Brian. Ramtin Rastamnajad. Ram would like to thank his friends and family for all the support during high school. Rosin Rastamnajad. Roman would like to thank all the friends and family along the way throughout this journey. Spencer Harrison Roth. Spencer is studying finance at the University of South Carolina. He would like to thank his friends and family for all the support. Hey, Spencer. Go Cox. Richard Brian Rothman. Richard will be studying biology uh, during the pre-med track at the University of Rhode Island. He would like to thank his friends, family, and teachers for the help for becoming who he is today. Dominic Andre Rudsky. Dominic would like to thank his friends and family for all the help along the way. Benjamin Hubal Santos Patricinio. Ben will be going to Worcester State University for computer science, and he would like to thank his friends, family, and teachers. Lillian Schiller. Lily is attending the University of New Hampshire and will be studying business. She would like to thank her family and all their love and support. Erica Allison Schultz. Erica is going to the University of Massachusetts Amherst to study psychology. She would like to thank both of her parents, her sister, and her friends and family for supporting their, her through her journey. Ariana Helen Senyuk. Ariana is excited to attend Boston University in the fall where she, she will be studying environmental analysis and policy. She would like to appreciate her supportive friends and family along her journey so far. Ivan Alexeyevich Shabalin. Ivan would like to thank his family, friends, and other overseas friends that supported him when times were rough. He is confident that he will figure out his future with those people with him. Claire Nicole Sheridan. Claire will be attending Clemson University to study biomedical engineering. She would like to thank her family, friends, and coaches for their constant support. Abigail Jean Sherman. Abby will be attending Penn State and wants to thank her family and friends. <laughs> Jacob Ross Sherman. Jake is going to NYU for sports management. He would like to thank his friends and family for helping him through his journey. Amanda Faye Syatt. Amanda is going to the University of Delaware to study nursing. She wants to thank her family, friends, and teachers for their help and support throughout the years. <laughs> Nicholas Stanley Simpson. Nick will be attending Sacred Heart University and would like to thank his friends and family. <laughs> Ellie Catherine Stevens. Ellie is attending the University of Delaware to study biomedical engineering. Maham Taj. Maham is going to Simmons University undecided. She would like to thank her family and friends for all their support. Eliana Elizabeth Tamaro. Eliana would like to thank her friends and family for help on the journey. Daniel Michael Tokar. Dan will be attending UMass Amherst and studying engineering. He would like to thank his friends and family. <laughs> Gabriel Augusto Silva Toledo. Gabe would like to thank his friends and family for the help that he's received in high school. <laughs> Jacob Ryan Taminski. Jake will be going to Bryant University and would like to thank his mom, dad, and brother for everything. Zaria Lynn Turner. Zaria would like to thank her family for their support and encouragement. She will continue her education in an accelerated honors program where she will study biology with a concentration in molecular and cellular systems with a focus on infectious diseases. Luke Matthew Van Cleef. Luke will be going to, to the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth. He would like to thank his family. 
Fiona Vasil. Fiona is going to Emmanuel College to study nursing. She wants to thank her friends and family for all their love and support. William George Villapain. Will would like to thank Mr. Mostow, Ms. LeBlanc, and his parents for their support. Catherine Rose Vitali. Kate is going to Roger Williams University to study environmental science. She wants to thank her friends, family, and teachers for always supporting her. Tin Trung Vu. Tin Vu is going to the University of Massachusetts Amherst to study economics. He would like to thank his family and friends for all their support. Derek Zhang Wang. Derek is going to Northeastern University to study neuroscience. Ryan Joseph Weedman. Ryan would like to say thank you to all of his teachers for making class fun. Of course, of course. Alexandra Elizabeth White. Alexandra is going to Barcelona to work on a marine conservation project and then plans on traveling. Galwin Willis Gracias. Galwin is attending the University of Maryland to study data science. He would like to thank his family and friends for the support throughout four years. Ryan Michael Williams. Ryan would like to thank his friends and family. Kevin Peixoto Enrique Xavier. Kevin is going to UMass Amherst. He would like to thank his friends and family for all their support. Trisha Rajiv Yadiv. Trisha would like to thank her friends and family for all their support. Kendall Lauren Z. Kendall will be attending Texas Christian University to study fashion merchandising. She would like to thank her family and friends for all their support. As many of you are aware, after our ceremony this morning, our graduates will be parading around town so the community can celebrate them. So we do ask, um, if you are in a separate car that is not as part of the parade, that you um, leave the turf and head to your cars and head off grounds as quickly as possible so we can get the students lined up. Maybe get yourself a good spot around the community to watch them go by. It's a tradition um, for them to walk the halls of the schools that they have attended um, and given that this year we are unable to do that, so we will be driving through each school that the students attended um, as part of their Ashland career. So at this time, I would like the class of 2021 to stand. Having met all of the graduation requirements set forth by the Ashland Public Schools, I ask you to take your tassels and move them to the left side of your caps. In doing so, I now pronounce you the 148th graduated class of Ashland High School.